Hello friends, welcome to Nigara Techies. First of all, welcome to my NT friends. This is our React JS tutorial part of this video. I am going to cover this environmental setup and also I am going to install my first React application using this command prompt. First, let me install this Node.js. So, I am already installed the Node.js. If you are new to, then you should have to install this Node.js. So, this is the official site for the Node.js. If you go here based on your system requirement you can download and you have to install it in case if you have the doubt whether it's installed or not we can verify from this the command prompt I'm just opening the command prompt here I'm just typing see it's showing the version is 16.15 that means I'm having this node.js the same way we can check the npm also if you not installed it will show some error then you have to download and install it okay great it's showing 8.5.5 that means I am having this npm also and we should have any of the code editor so I would suggest to use this VS code and if you have any other source code also you can use it so it's already I'm installed in my machine if you don't have this BS code that also we can download so basically it's provided by the Microsoft only so this is the URL so I am going to share this URL and Node.js URL also in the description you can use it and the next thing is uh, we have to install this package then only we can create any react application using these command prompts so let me copy this one actually I am going to use the folder is a folder only let me choose the path okay here the command is npm install then the g a g means we are installing globally and this is one of the package name so basically it will take some time for doing the installation this is almost similar to the angular application in the angular application also we have to install the npm commands the similar way uh, we are installing these packages here so once it's done uh, we can install our first application for that we have to use the command npx create react app after that we have to specify our application name so I plan to give my application name is LAN react so let me copy this command so I am going to share all the commands in the description you can use it for any time okay look like the installation gets completed now let me install my first application so you can see the details like installing the react and react dom and react scripts these are the packages so it have the n number of packages so this one also takes around uh, 30 suddenly okay great the installation is completed let me open the application in the visual studio code using command prompt also we can open so anyway i am trying to open in the manual way okay see now so here we have the folder structure the node models it has the all dependencies and the public so public having this icons and on index page and the source is very important one uh, here only we have the components and all the files so in my next video we can see individually all the files what are the actions it's doing so now I am going to run this application first for that I am going to the new terminal and we have the command npm start so basically this command build our application using this uh, react scripts 
and it will show the output. If you are using this Angular application, it will basically run in the 4200. So it is running in the 3000. See now, so our basic application is loaded with the default template of React.js. So after that, uh, we can include our changes. <sighs> now I am going to click this learn React. It is simply redirecting to the official website of React.js. So here you can see the details and the documentations. Okay. And we have the get started option that also redirecting to the document side. So if you want more details, you can refer this website. You will get complete information. So you can go to the tutorial and blogs. So this is the highest version of the React.js, say 18.0 that actually we are using. So in my next video, I am going to explain the folder structure, files, and what are the usage of the particular file. And I request you to subscribe my channel. Then only you will get my upcoming videos instantly. Thank you. Thanks for watching.